All right, <clears throat> I'm back with another review video or opinion video. So just picked up this, well, it's been about a month now, but I bought this new Toro Z Master 2000 HDX. I had a Toro Time Cutter HD before this, which was probably two steps down. Um, great mower, um, took it in, I had it for about a year and a half, two years. Took it to the Toro dealership. There was one issue with the safety switch. Simple fix. Under warranty, they fixed it. While I was there, this was on the showroom floor among a bunch of other mowers. Started talking to the salesman there. and Anyway, they made me an offer, a really good offer, trade-in on my existing mower. Had warranty, so it was worth something to them. Traded in, picked this guy up. And let me tell you, it's a night and day difference going from a premium homeowner mower to a entry-level commercial mower a um, couple features out the gate my old mower had a 54 inch deck this is a 60 inch deck this is also the turbo force deck uh, so a step up in decks from what my previous model was and it really picks up the grass you can really tell it picks up gives it a beautiful cut um, i like the feature here these snap off there's one on this side and one on that side snap right off uh, for easy cleaning and servicing of course the big feature on these the my ride suspension platform it's got a shock spring here in the front and then around back you've got an adjustable spring um, i am not that heavy <laughs> relatively speaking i suppose so i have it at this one and a half mark and it rides really well uh, biggest thing I noticed when I jumped on this from my uh, homeowner grade model, the torque that this machine has. Um, I think my old system, my old mower had the Hydro Gear 2800s. These have, I'll show you down here, the Hydro Gear 3800s. Serviceable, and they have a boatload of torque. Uh, if you're on concrete or any kind of service where you get good traction, you Push the lap bars as hard, as fast forward as you can. This thing will ride a wheelie. Uh, <laughs> I did it on accident when I was doing running the demo unit. Uh, again, really solid construction. And I could step on this deck, and you know, it just, it just, everything's very solid. Solid front casters, so there's no need to worry about flats. Massive steel tubular frame. Uh, very rigid mower. You go over uh, uneven ground and the frame stays rigid. It doesn't flex or bend. I'm very impressed. This is their uh, kind of special series or uh, limited series, I guess, for the Z Master in this, in this model. So it's got a light bar on the front. It came with the hard top, the roll bars, the solid front casters, and the Michelin twheels. I really like these tires. I was unsure at first, but I tell you they ride really well they kind of flex a little bit when you um run over uh you know small sticks or rocks or any uneven get really good traction and don't worry about flats um really comfortable driver's seat real comfortable armrests that go up and down of course is adjustable front and back very comfortable seat another big reason for me to go into this one my last model had the Toro brand engine, which was a fine engine, no complaints. Sometimes a little hard to start when it was cold. Uh, this one though came with a Kawasaki FX 730V, great engine. Easy starting, tons of torque, runs smooth, has a great sound to it. I really like it. And of course it's got the commercial sized air filter. My last one did not have that. Also in this model, the battery access is much easier. The last model, it was under some kind of a plastic cover. You had to pull screws out and monkey with it. and Much easier. You know, I mean, it's just a, a uh, rubber strap. Clip it off, and the battery is right here, easy to access. Um, another thing I like about this mower is the access points for everything. I mean, engine oil. You've got your hydro fill. Fuel filter. Of course, the engine oil on this side. Simple to change. Easy to work on. Lots of little storage nooks and crannies here. There's two more or three more over there. You've got your hour meter. Of course, your PTO engagement key. Throttle 
choke, and this one being the model that it is has headlights, uh, LED bar, but it's very bright. I never go at night, but you know, if you're running around the dark, maybe moving the mower or something like that, it's nice to have. Uh, deck adjustment on the thing, also a great thing I think Toro is really good at. Real simple. When it's in the lock position, just pull this pin up, pick your height, drop it back in. When you want to lower the deck to that height, push down on the pedal while picking up on this, uh, you know, this knob here. It'll release the cam, which is inside here. <clears throat> Hold it and release the pedal. It goes down. When you want to raise the deck up to travel height, all you do is push the pedal all the way forward. It'll click in place uh, automatically. So, real nice. Of course, it does have a small trailer hitch, and I recently purchased this Femco uh, sprayer for my yard. Spray a mixture of permethrin and a... Uh, Fertilizer for the yard, it's worked well for me. Keeps the uh, unwanted insects, especially the horse flies down. Uh, keeps the grass green. Uh, you know, good little old sprayer, picked up a tractor supply. I think it was around 300 bucks. The arms fold out. It's got three nozzles in the back. If you hit something, they fold out the way so they don't rip off. And then, you know, that hooks up with the alligator clips to the battery and the mower. And then you can switch it over with the valve and use this uh, lawn with about a 20 foot hose on it. So again, Toro Z Master 2000 HDX, great mower. I've been a fan of Toro since my last one. Um, you know, they're a big name in the industry. They have good parts support, good dealer support. My dealer's been awesome to work with. Um, you know, there's a lot of brands out there, a lot of great mowers, uh, but I just felt like, you know, Toro has been around a long time. They really know what they're doing with these mowers. Um, in my opinion, their cut quality is second to none. Um, you know, overall, very happy. So, anyway, I'll be back later. Right now, we are sitting at how many hours do we have on this? Let's see, we are at 7.3 hours. So, it's still very, very new. Maybe when we get up to 50 hours or 100 hours, you know, get some real use through it, I'll come back, give you all a real world update, and let you know what I think. Talk to you later.